I read that when you were first approached some nine years ago about this role, that you said no. What made you finally say yes? The main reason, I, I'm not sure I can really account for it, except that um, so much is always to do with the timing uh, of things, because I read Tony's script and recognized immediately what a wonderful possibility was in that. Mm -hmm. um, through the quality of the writing, through Stephen's work. And you can see that this looks like a really good idea for somebody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and or you can feel irrevocably drawn into the orbit of uh, the, the, the greater life of the piece and the specific life of that character. Mm -hmm. I've been prey to it all my life, uh, that, uh, that compelling need um, that, that one, one finds somehow irresistible. Mm. So it was irresistible. The words! Was it the words? The words, certainly. The, the words, the, we were talking about the, the words. The richness of the language. The astonishing thing about that particular man is that the preconceived notion we have of him is that he's inaccessible. Well, the reason he's inaccessible is because he's been mythologized. Yes. Um, but when he's you that monument, that, he's that's the what monument. He is. Yes, yes. And that process also dehumanizes them. Absolutely. How do you move from objectively learning about him, mm. easing into a kind of empathizing with who he is, to now embodying that? So there's an objective learning process, because if you yes, haven't read there is. Yes, That's right? right? There's an Absolutely. objective learning, and then there's a empathizing with who this person yes. was, right? Yes. And then subjecting yourself to becoming the vessel. Yes. Yeah. You just. I just said you it. Just okay. Said it. Yeah, okay. Th thank you so much. <laughs> no. I, for years I've been trying to. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm thinking. And so succinctly as well. <laughs> I'm thinking there uh, is, though, what you were talking about. I could about. take 10 minutes to say the same yeah. thing. How do you do that, though? Learning, first learning about him. First you learn as much as you possibly can. And, and it's absolutely true. It's a really important point that whilst you're learning, you are necessarily remaining objective. Yeah. And there comes a time when all books get put aside um, and the work change, the nature of the work changes. True to his painstaking acting method, Daniel Day-Lewis fully immersed himself into the world of Abraham Lincoln. He read over 100 books, spent countless hours poring over photos and read Lincoln's words out loud until he was able to capture the president's mm. distinctive voice. Euclid says this is self-evident. You see, there it is. Even in that 2,000-year-old book of mechanical law, it is a self-evident truth that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Obviously, I was just saying to Stephen that it feels like you became a hologram, that it's a hologram. It's so infused with what we believe and have read and hope Lincoln to be, what you were able to do. But the thing that really I, 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 I was astounded by is the voice. How does the voice arise, or do you rise to the voice? I, I think probably um, some combination of the two. With the voice being such a deep personal reflection of character, of who we are. Mm -hmm. And that voice may be quite a surprising reflection of who we seem to be uh, in some cases, but it is undoubtedly, it's, it's, it's kind of a fingerprint of the soul, I think. Yes. Ooh, ooh, good. And, um, and fingerprint I, of the soul, <laughs> very good. Here, here, mint tea to I, you. I coined that in the moment, by <laughs> oh, the way. Oh boy, the that's good. <laughs> no. The voice, um, the fingerprint of the soul. Thank you so much. Um, what I hope for at a certain uh, at a certain moment, <clears throat> if the work is going the way you hope it it'll go, I begin to hear a voice. Um, not in the supernatural sense, but uh, like uh, just as we have an inner eye, we have an inner, inner ear as well. And I yes. begin to, I begin to hear a voice, and then if that voice pleases me, I then have the problem of trying to reproduce it, which is a whole other <laughs> thing. Right.